In this video, we are going to demonstrate the intelligent adaptation capabilities provided by the eFlows for HPC workflows. These features are going to be demonstrated with the Pillar 3 uses for Earthquake workflow. This workflow is predicting the effects of an earthquake. When an earthquake alert is raised by the agency, the workflow raises a set of HPC simulations to predict the intensity of the ground set shaking of the earthquake region, according to different possible scenarios. Some minutes after the first alert is raised, updates of the event can come with more information about the event. This new information can invalidate some of the simulations or can require new simulations. We have implemented the required adapt adaptability using the streams, the task group cancellations provided by the PyComs. The first part of the workflow includes a set of microservice invocations that calculate the CMTs to evaluate an earthquake alert. Then, a set of simulations are launched for each CMT. All simulations associated to these CMTs are grouped in a task group per CMT. An extra task is launched to monitor the alert updates and compare it with the generated CMTs. If one of the generated CMTs is invalidated, it cancels the group of simulations associated to this CMT. If the CMT associated to the alert update is not covered by the generated ones, a new simulation is submitted. In the video, we are going to simulate an earthquake event and an update after two minutes approximately. We will see the progress and the final results of the execution in the UCIS for EQ dashboard. The user resources and the generated task graph by the alert will be shown in the comms monitor. The results of the execution will be automatically uploaded to a B2Drop repository. In this terminal, we can see the logs of the microservices, the logs of the workflow manager, the submitted jobs in the Mare Nostrum supercomputer. Now, let's simulate the event with the following cool command. In the comms monitor, we can see the first tasks generated by the event that are invoking the microservices. In the dashboard, we can see that the event has been detected and the executed and running microservices. At this moment, the workflow is analyzing the event data, downloading the region information and generating the CMTs for the event. Now we can see the red task that corresponds to the monitoring task that is running in parallel with the CMT simulations. In the Mare Nostrum supercomputer, we can see how COMS is submitting the required simulations.
Finally, an event update arrives and the monitoring task decides to generate a new CMT and cancel those ones that are incompatible with the event update. We are going to see how the tasks are cancelled in the Mare Nostrum supercomputer and also in the dashboard and in the comms monitor. Now we can see also the progress of the simulations in the dashboard. Once all the simulations are finished, there is a final task which merges the results and computes the intensity maps.
at the end of the workflow, we can see that the results has been uploaded to the B2Drop repository. And the results can be also inspected in the usage for EQ dashboard. 